early. Don't faint on me. Yeah, I'm about two minutes early. Come on in. Sometimes I think the sun is rising too soon. Can I just pull the covers over my head? But then I think of all I've got to do now. First thing is to get my body out of this bed. So I get up, up, here I go. Even if I'm starting slow, I'm smiling, I'm moving. Gotta get this body moving, thinking up, up. Kind of thoughts gonna give this new day all I've got. And in no time at all, things are going my way. Always go the way that I plan, but I'm a tough kid. I can deal with that. I'll make the best of it. I know that I can. So I get up, up, here we go. Even if I'm starting slow, I'm smiling, I'm grooving. Gotta get this body moving, thinking up, up. Kind of thoughts gonna give this new day all I got, and in no time at all. dreams to go. I'll still reach for the sky. It's time to watch me die on an up kind of day. Yeah. Up, up, on an up kind of day. So I get up, up, here I go. Even if I'm starting slow, I'm smiling, I'm moving. Gotta get this body moving, thinking up, up. Kind of thoughts for the kid this new day. All I've got, and it no time at all. Things are going my way. Can I have an up, up kind of day? An up kind of day, yeah. An up kind of day, yeah. An up kind of day. Welcome, everybody. It's Thursday, and you know what that means? It's it's your questions get answered today. That's maybe one of the reasons I started just a couple minutes early. I know you're blown away by it, especially my sister. Okay, so I, I've seen a question in the chat that is from a new a new fly baby, and I want to explain the zones. So I'm going to go back to December because. January started on a Saturday, and that is always a little messed up. Or maybe I go to February is kind of messed up too. Let me see how February looks. I'm gonna I'm gonna just use an example of of December. So December the first, right here. December first started on a Wednesday, and so Zone One is this week this part of the week zone two is the second week and it's usually a full week zone three zone two is the kitchen zone one is your entrance front porch and dining room zone three is your main bathroom and we usually pick another room like your laundry room or something like that zone four is your master bedroom and zone five is your living room. Well, this week we are in zone five in January. But zone five, we're going to toss in an extra day because the 31st is on Monday. So zone five is going to go from the 23rd to the 31st. We're we'll just an extra day because then zone one kicks in after the 31st. So it's, but when the first falls on a Saturday, we have to get creative. <laughs> we really do because we got to get some days in zone one. So we usually do um, 
Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in that zone. So February is going to be zone one, and we send out a sneak peek every Saturday. And it has the zones listed for the next month in, in that sneak peek. So this is zone one for February, zone two for February, zone three for February, zone four. And we only get one day in zone five. But folks, don't sweat it. We're going to tell you. We're going to tell you when it is and what we're doing. And thank you for joining up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, maybe up kind of day could be a phone alarm. I, I, alarms are, uh, I like subtle alarms. I don't like loud alarms. And being an up kind of day, I woke up this morning, the song on my heart this morning was, was, let me get it. was rise and shine and give God the glory. If you could get up every morning singing that song, I go to bed with a song on my heart, uh, to God be the glory, great things he has done. And I wake up with this one, rise and shine and give God the glory. And we learned this in Sunday school class. And it, it, it's a, a powerful message for us every day to sing. Because we put our focus on the Lord. And when we can put our focus on the Lord, everything's going to be okay. Don't be afraid. They're trying to scare us to death. They're trying to manipulate us. And manipulation is from the evil one. Okay. First question. I already answered one question. But the first question from my five pages. Here we go. I keep cat food on top of my table because I don't know where else to keep it. I don't want it on the floor to attract mice. What else would you suggest? Well, first off, if you have a cat, you're not going to have any mice. And the only reason we keep our cat food in this window, we have this gravity feeder and the water is on the other side. And I've had a cardinal at my window since I've been sitting here. Um, but the main thing is where the cat... The, now, in the kitchen, we feed, we supplement um, our cat's feeding. She's old. And she gets a little, little bitty thing of liquid food of we call them sloop call it sloop and <clears throat> and it is uh <laughs> the cat loves it i mean but she calls the dog in they eat out of the same bowl which is the wildest stuff i've ever seen they love each other they lick each other's ears but i just i get irked out by the fact that your your cat food is on your table, that's your dining table. Don't don't put your cat food on your dining table, and put your cat food on the floor. Make a place for your cat food on the floor, and if there's a mouse, that cat will get it. So. Don't worry about mice because you've got a mouser in the house. And yes, mice can climb up the legs of your table. If it, I think you don't have any mice because you have a good cat. And I would get this little feeding mat and put the food and the water on the floor. And then the cat will thank you for it. What do you suggest when our cats leave messes around the house and there's a clean litter box? Well, I think the cat's trying to get your attention for some reason. Sometimes Samantha leaves a present for Robert in the shower and she has two litter boxes. What is your... Uh, oh, that's the next question. I didn't separate that one out. 
And the other day, Samantha, she's got a stomach disorder of some kind, or hairballs or something, but she throws up. And she hasn't done it in three days. And I've been saying prayers over her to to kind of help her to get healed of whatever's going on. But getting up in the morning to a pile of of a hairball and liquid on the floor is, is it's all I can do. It, it's all I can do. So I just lay paper towels over it and Robert deals with it or he's going to have to deal with my throw up. So it's not fun. So I would, I would do some searches on YouTube to see what's going on. Maybe the cat doesn't like the litter you have in the litter box. That could be a problem. Or the litter box is uh, has a urine odor. You might get some, what is it called? It's Arm & Hammer Litter Box Deodorizer. I love that stuff. And it's really good if you have a dog that gets um, sprayed by a skunk. It works well. Okay. What is your suggestion for keeping socks together in the washing machine? I struggle with missing socks. I thought about using the Fly Lady white mesh bags. Well, people have used that. Let me show, show you what that is. Our, our rags come in a mesh bag like this. And you can buy these mesh bags at on Amazon or at Walmart or wherever. And you can put your socks, you can hang it on the doorknob and let the kids put their socks. Somebody just drove up at my house. I don't know who it is. Anyway. Probably. I don't have a clue who it is. Robert must know him. <laughs> Anyway, so um, you can you know hang it on the doorknob and put all the socks in there. What usually happens with socks, they can get stuck in a filter if you have a front-loading washing machine. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they can um, they can get stuck on other clothes, and you fold them up and put them away, and they're on the inside of a Clothes. I've had that happen with uh, jogging pants, little static electricity. It's inside the clothes. So just start, you can start putting your um, your socks in a mesh bag, a fly lady mesh bag, or it's it's kind of a freebie for you when you buy our rags, and that way they're all going to be together and they're not going to go down the drain. Okay, let's see. Can the chenille mop cloths go in the dryer or will they shrink? They're they're a polyester material. They're not going to shrink. They're not going to shrink. Um, I'll show you one. This one, well, this is this is not a mop cloth. This is a purple rag. This, uh oh, it's a generator guy. Uh oh, that's not good because he's going to want to throw the switch. Not good. We'll see how this works. If not, I, if, if I lose power, I will come back on immediately. So don't worry. So they don't, they don't really, they don't really draw up in the dryer, but I like to hang mine up and let them dry too. And if I really need to mop my floors after I've washed them, I just put a wet one on. How can I get unstuck from the past? I feel guilty decluttering things from my past and the items that people have given me who have passed away. Well, you are not the mu museum curator for your family. And you don't have to hold on to everything. You can take a picture of it. Uh, I have a book 
called Body Clutter. Uh oh, don't fall. I have a book called Body Clutter, and this book is um, an amazing journey of getting rid of the clutter that's in your head because you're not wanting to let go of things because you feel guilty. That's body clutter right up here. So let's, let's get rid of the body clutter and just let it go. I mean, you can't hold on to everything. I mean, I only have one thing from my mother and it's a small little, I think it was a snuff box. She didn't have, she didn't do stuff. Now my great grandmother did, Granny Pickard, but it's a little snuff canister. And I, that's the only thing I have that was hers. And I'm happy with that. Okay, next. How can I remove mold from furniture legs and not remove the finish? A damp purple rag or silver rag or gray rag. This grabs everything. I had a friend who got a scratch on their car and I said, take your purple rag out there and just rub it. And it was a red scratch on a white car. Just rub it and it'll come off. And I think it did. Huh. I am thinking, and it also a, a rubber scrubber is good for getting things off your furniture. It, it will, it will, do a great job of getting dried dried up mold and there's something's going on in your house if you've got mold on your furniture you need to dry your house out you need some ventilation going on you really do because something's wrong there unless it's outside furniture and this does a great job on outside furniture uh I'm thinking of getting a Roomba. How do they work? Do they need Wi-Fi to run? Do they work on wood floors? Yes, I have all wood floors. They work wonderfully on our wood floors. They even get under the furniture. Um, they don't need Wi-Fi to run unless you want to control them with your phone. But... All you got to do is push a button and I start mine every morning when I walk into the studio. It's part of my routine of walking in the studio. I turn my Roomba on. Okay. Yes, they work. And I've been thankful for my Roomba. I have had a Roomba since 2019 when I got sick with what I think what I believe was the first round of um, of the 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 V word out of China, and I was so sick I couldn't go to my sister's wedding, and it broke my heart. And I was not able to do a whole lot of anything. So Robert said, "Honey." He think about us getting a Roomba and he ordered it and it came in and he set it up, which was easy. And it, it's, it's just been wonderful because, and we've gone through a second one since 2000, April of 2019. That's soon be four years, three years. Um, let me do some math in my head. I hadn't had enough coffee today, but it's just amazing. It's just amazing what it, um, it runs every day. I don't have to remember. It's got a, a set time that it comes on at two o'clock. So if I've run it in the morning, it'll come on a second time and go for a little while. How can we be careful buying things online? Quality isn't as good as the, as in the picture. I feel most comfortable when I order from the fly shop though. Well, we try to show you just like it is. Make sure when you go to a link to purchase something that it has in the URL line, H-T-T-P-S. That means secure. And you could get a green, green something on around that URL too. Yeah, you do have to be careful. And on Amazon, I read reviews. 
I read reviews like crazy. I read the good reviews. I read the bad reviews and I read some in the middle just to get a choice, uh, an, an idea of if things are, shall we say, true to size. All of these things are good. Now, they're get, the generator quit just now. Uh, but just, just like I like to buy my clothes on eBay. I have a certain brand that I like to buy and I know it's true to size and some people buy things and don't like them and they're still new in a bag and I order these things. I haven't purchased anything this year. I'll probably wait until around March or April to get some new stuff for summer, but I have plenty of everyday clothes. And you can see that I don't really, um, I don't really wear the same thing. Twice. I have two of these shirts. I have two of a couple other kind of shirts, two of the red shirts, because I like them. So thank you for the compliment about our picture. Uh, sometimes our picture for the, for the feather duster is kind of hard to, it's hard to capture because it's fluffy, but it's, it's a beautiful duster. It's the one thing we really can't get a good picture of. When something goes wrong or doesn't happen the way we want it, the first thing we do is panic. Why is that? Is it because we drink too much coffee? <laughs> yeah, that could be a ba bad problem, but I'm, I'm down to one cup a day. Just one cup. But what it really is, it's we're a control freak. We are control, we're a control freak. Uh, yesterday, I had to talk to my son about being, you know, wanting to help everybody. And... We can help a lot of people. Uh, the The friend who had the car that had to go to the shop that they almost lost a tire while driving down the highway, he let him um, use Sarah's car. Sarah can't drive the car yet. She's not 16 yet. and She can't drive it by herself. So when she goes somewhere, she has to drive her mama's car or her daddy's truck. And so she, she, he just let her borrow... He just let his friend borrow the old car. It says 250,000 miles on it. But hey, he he was um he was um excited about it. Really excited about helping his friend. Uh But we can't panic. You know, that's when we panic our brains go nuts. We get a shot of adrenaline and we can't think. We can't think at all. So we've got to learn to calm ourselves in situations of um, anxiousness and, and just stop and circle the wagons and say, okay, what have I got to do first? Turn off the water. Go turn off the water. Know how to turn off the water if you need to turn off the water. If a toilet's overflowing, do you have a, a uh, plunger by your toilet? You can avert bad things with just a plunger handy. I also keep a bottle of Dawn dishwashing liquid in my bathroom because if you get a plug... Now, this works. This really does work. If you get a stopped up toilet and you can't get it plunged or you don't have a plunger, take your Dawn dishwashing liquid and open it up and pour a bunch of it in your toilet and it will go down to the clog and it will release it. I promise you it works. It really does work. And <clears throat> for sinks and drains and This is called the drain weasel. This thing really works too. We've tried to sell it. They won't sell it to us. But it does a great job of getting hair clogs out of your bathtub. Now you're going to have to take the little drains thing off. But it does a good job. I'm, I love this thing. 
Let me get back on my perch. So don't panic. Have the stuff you need. If you have a fire, do you have fire extinguishers? I have two upstairs, one in the stairwell, and one under the sink. So we've always got, right at the fireplace, I have a little spray bottle of water that is a little pump, brass pump spray. If something pops out of the fireplace and gets on our rug, but it's so easy to be ready to put a fire out. Yeah. And there are some rag, there's some towels you can buy that are, uh, you can throw over grease fires because you can't put water on a grease fire. Well, he's starting up the generator again. Let's see. Uh, goes So don't panic and cut back on your coffee if you have to. We're page three now. I start off with good motivation and then it slows down. How do I get back to what, how, how do you get back to what you were doing? I don't know how to do small amounts, even though I know that's what you say. Making decisions isn't easy for me, regardless of the amount of work. Practice, practice doing two minutes practice. It's really going to change your life. If you can, I make, I've got a whole list of things I can do in two minutes. And sometimes I number them and I roll the dice and pick one and just do two minutes. It is your perfectionism that makes you do too much. That's why you slow down. So, but if you just go and do two minutes, you're going to be blown away at what you can get done. Making decisions. I don't have a problem making decisions. I've never had a problem making decisions. You, here's, Ben taught me this. It was from his other grandmother. And she said, do the next right thing. I think that's a quote from somebody. I don't know who. But when he didn't know what to do, he would just pick the next right thing to do. And that helped him in his journey. God bless his soul. Mm. I miss him. I miss talking to him every day. But he's in a better place. He's been dead a little over a year now. My sister's been dead since 2018. His mama. So how do you get back to what you're doing? Set the timer and do it. Just go back to whatever it was you're doing. Break it down into baby steps. Get a dice and play with it. Play games. We have to make things into games. I joined in the beginning of January. What tools do you suggest I start off with? What is the most recommended item? Well, if you don't have a calendar, get a calendar now because we won't have them in a couple of months. We'll have none. So get a calendar. That helps you more than anything to get rid of the chaos. We have a back to basics package that we pulled back out because I started doing our back to basics, two weeks worth of missions and get our emails, get our emails and you can be a part of that. And you just got to get started. Use what you have. Use your own mop, use your own duster, use, use your own rags and just do what we say. And then as you can, you can get the Back to Basics package, which is $49.95. Get it now. Because we're finding that the shipping, that the, the shippers are charging us an arm and a leg. It's called supply and demand. And there's not a good supply of truckers right now. And so they are milking us when it comes to shipping. Not to you, to us. 
So what is the most recommended item? I would say our, our favorite item is our purple rags, any colored rag. They're all the same fabric. How often should we thoroughly clean our sink? I'm referring to deep cleaning, bleach, etc. When you do it the first time, you probably don't have to do it again for several months if you keep it clean. Now, I wipe my sink out every time. I let the water out of the sink. I take my dirty dishcloth and wipe it down and hang that up to dry. And I've got a shiny sink. Now, if you do something with berries in your sink and it stains your sink, you might have to use a little Clorox wipe in it and get it clean. But you may not ever have to do this deep cleaning again if you stay after it. Okay, here's a, here's a question that's probably going to get me fired up. Would you consider creating a fly lady mask? I think those sh would be cute and we all could use another mask. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. These poor babies that are having to be forced and they're taping these masks to their faces at school. These people need to be fired. So when, when the pandemic started, people took our purple rags, our pink rags, and made, they found patterns for masks, and they made their own mask. Now they're saying you need an N95 mask. Well, for months, you couldn't find an N95. My um, technical person, Michael, he had one N95 mask, and it the strings had broken, and he got a cover mask for it, and I sent him a way to disinfect this mask with, with light, and he, he was panicked. But I'm not going to produce a mask. I'm not going to do it. It's just another way to make us bow down to them. And I'm not doing it. I don't do it when I go out. There's only like one or two times that I have had to put on a mask to get some paperwork done when I sold a car. So not going to make a mask. You know, when I first read this question, I thought it's a makeup mask. We want, we want to put some makeup mask on our face. <laughs> I'm not going to do that either. Because we've all got these little masks that we've gotten in little gift packs. So if you want to put on a mask, put on a makeup mask. Do something for your skin. I'm not putting one on. Not now, not ever. What fly lady tool is best for cleaning baseboards? I have a difficult time bending down. Well, I can't reach it, but it's a rubber broom, a, a rubber sweeper. It's a great thing for cleaning baseboards. It's like a rubber scrubber on a stick. Another thing that's good is our multi wand right here, this multi wand. It's got a long handle that you can put the mop handle on it, but it's a pretty good size. I use my multi wand to get behind the toilet. It's tough getting behind the toilet. And update on my toilet. I'm getting layer after layer after layer of uh, calcium deposits off of my toilet, and it's looking pretty good. I'm excited. <laughs> Is this Fly Lady program just for stay-at-home moms, or can I do this too, working full-time? 45% of our membership are stay-at-home moms. 45% of our membership work outside the home. So there you have it. And then 10% of our membership, which has probably gone up since the pandemic, work at home for a salary. Yeah. So we are for anyone who has a home, guys, gals, anybody. We've even had children start doing it and get, bring their parents along. So 
So don't get all caught up at, that we're just for stay at home moms. No, you know, 18% of uh, before the pandemic is probably 25% now homeschool their children. More power to you, girls dads more power to you i'm so proud of you for homeschooling your children because i have done a lot of homeschooling conferences i'm telling you a lot of homeschooling conferences over the years and homeschooling parents need their houses clean or they're not going to be very good teachers and i tell this to teachers who teach in the public school system too so there is <coughs> i swallowed wrong Okay. My couch is constantly covered in pet hair. I use a couch cover, but eventually fall, but it eventually falls down and I feel like it's an ongoing battle. Do you have any tips? No, I'll be honest. I have the same problem. I have a red couch and I have a, a hound dog, a hound dog that has a white patch of fur on her chest. So I bought two comforters, little Buffalo plaid, red and black comforters to put over the couch. And yeah, they eventually fall down, but we had a white cat until September 1st and on September 1st he went away and we've not seen him since and we we loved Penrod we uh, we just we loved Penrod we love Samantha too but we loved Penrod and he was a white cat and he could turn any red couch pink and it has taken me about six well since September three four months to eventually get all of his white hair off the couch. And we used to keep uh, Justin and Emily's dog, Molly, and she wasn't supposed to shed, but she's one of these um, poodle Labrador mix and her white hair would go everywhere. But, you know, it is what it is. We love our critters. And if you get into a system of every time you sit down on the couch, grab your rubber scrubber, grab your lint roller, whatever you've got that you use. I have one of these. I use this and a, 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 one of these velvet lint rollers that you can push and go different directions on things that works pretty good. And just do a little every day. Do one side. Like cleaning your shower. Do one square foot until you get it all clean and then you can really keep up with it. Do you have a plan for getting another dishwasher? Or are you okay with washing dishes by hand? I know it's a big change from having one previously. We have ordered a dishwasher, but it won't be here till November. I don't know why it won't be here till November, but it won't. And it'll probably cancel it. But you know, I've been keeping up with these dishes. I wash the dishes. When I get through in here, I go and wash the um, the two glasses because we usually drink our tea until about nine o'clock. And so those two glasses, any cups we've had from breakfast, any plate that Robert has used for his cereal or uh, a bowl, I'll go in and wash those dishes, put them in the drainer, and then... By the end of the day, Robert will be puttering around in the kitchen or something. He'll put them away. After dinner, I wash the dishes, and in the morning, he puts them away. We got a little system going, and it works for us. It works, and it's fine. I'm, I don't get all upset about dishes. I don't fuss, nothing. It is what it is. So my thing with the dishwasher, the place we put it, I can't have a handle sticking out. Because that place, I would always have a hip bruised. I work there a lot. And Robert works there a lot. That's our coffee station. So I want something with a flat front. And we have ordered it, but we'll see if it comes in. So I'm getting another one. 
But right now, I don't want to tear my kitchen up by pulling this one out. Okay, we got one more question. What are the feathers from on your feather duster? The only thing that really works. Let me show you a picture of it. Ostrich feathers. It makes the best feather duster ever. The feathers come out of South Africa. They raise ostriches there, not for slaughter, but for their feathers. And they're absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful. And most of the feathers that are in our feather duster, let me grab this one. These feathers are called floss feathers. And they have millions of little feathers on them. I mean, just little fronds on the feather itself. We like to put a little, little bit of purple in it just to make it look festive because we like. And it's beautiful. Now, we set up a new package yesterday that is called the Dust and Shine Pack. And evidently, y'all didn't like that package. But for the price of the feather duster, you get a package of your, your favorite color of, of our purple rags, either purple or blue or gray. The gray looks pretty good with it. I'm telling you, I, I thought, look at that. <laughs> it's matchy, matchy. How cute is that? But we put this dust and shine pack together. And this duster, it comes to you with a sleeve on it. And when you get it, you just need to fluff it up with a blow dryer. If you don't have a blow dryer, get your, get your tea kettle going and just twirl it over the steam coming out of your tea kettle. That's what they do at the ostrich feather place. These dusters are made in Canada. They just have to come across the Canadian border. And uh, they've always been made in Canada, either in British Columbia or I think it's Ottawa now, but they make the best feather duster ever. And I've got feather dusters all over this room, but feather dusters that we've used in the past. They Feather dusters love to be in the light of the day. This one gets direct sunlight in the afternoon. Direct sunlight. So folks, uh-oh. About to fall off my stool. Get you a duster. They are a great tool. You can dust your whole house in two minutes. Really. I keep one in my bathroom. I keep one in my uh, living room. I have some in an umbrella stand. I've always got a duster handy because I've got every duster we've ever sold. And none of them have, have molted. But the, the ostrich feathers come from a molting process. They molt twice a year and they gather up the feathers. The, the generator quit again. Yep, the rubber scrubber is good for pet hair, somebody said. It's really good for pet hair. You do it like this. You do it at an angle and it gets the pet hair up. Just rolls it right up. Anyway, folks, that's all our questions right now. I'm glad we got a head start on things. Anyway, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for giving us wisdom and to keep us safe from our own anxiety by listening to our own wisdom. Thank you for Roombas. <laughs> that just knocked on the door. Thank you, Lord, for making us laugh and letting animals become part of our lives so that we can find joy in your creatures. And thank you for the wild animals that we had a white squirrel come to our back door the other day and the cardinal show up at my window just a while ago. 
So thank you, Lord, for the critters of the world that give us such love and joy, unconditional love. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to discern fake news and to quit listening to the news because when we need to know something, you're going to have the Holy Spirit tell us. Our, we are going to be protected. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done for us. Keep us safe. Help us to cook a good meal for dinner for our family. Be strong. Help us to be strong. We praise you, Lord, for everything you do for us. You are our heavenly father. I didn't grow up with much of a father. So thank you, Lord, for giving me the ability to go to you with any and everything, Lord. Thank you for walking with me daily and helping to guide my steps. Thank you, Lord, for good friends that, that help me discern things. And Lord, thank you for sending your son to die for our sins on that horrible cross. All these things we ask in your son's holy name. Amen. Okay, folks, let's get some stuff done today. Get dinner cooking. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love you all. I will see you at three o'clock this afternoon. Bye.